standard first subject maths hello student i am jyoti singh in this video we are going to learn a new topic but before i start my new topic let's recap what we have learned in our previous video we have seen long and short now these terms are used to compare the length of an object and we have learned tall and short now these terms are used to compare the height of an object now now let me ask you some question now student in this picture what can you see yes there are two doors in this picture so when we compare these two doors they are of same color now the length of these two door are same so what is the difference in this picture yes the difference is width the first door is broad and the second one is narrow so here we got two new word broad b r o a d broad and narrow n a r r o w narrow so can you tell me when this word are used yes when we compare the width of an object on that time we use this word broad and narrow so today we are going to learn a new topic broad and narrow with the help of example now student look at this example in this example we have two bottle in first bottle we have pickle and in second bottle we have jam so in which bottle is there pickle yes the pickle is in the broad bottle and where do you see the jam yes the jam is in the narrow bottle let's see some more example now student in this example in which cup is there milk yes the milk is in the narrow cup and where is the tea yes the tea is in the broad cup let's see some more example now student look at this example what do you see in this example yes the boy and a girl is climbing a ladder so can you tell me which ladder the boy is climbing and which ladder the girl is climbing yes the boy is climbing broad ladder and the girl is climbing narrow ladder now let's see some more example now student in this example we have two basket first a basket of fruits and second a basket of vegetable so in which basket do you see fruits and in which basket do you see vegetables yes the fruits is in the broad basket and the vegetables is in the narrow basket now student meet priya 
Today she is very happy because she got two chocolate from her uncle. So, can you tell me which chocolate is broad and narrow? Yes. Yes, the dairy milk chocolate is broad and the Kit Kat chocolate is narrow. Let's see some more example. Now student, in this example we have two cupboard. So, in which cupboard do you see toys and where do you see the clothes? Yes, the toys is in narrow cupboard and the clothes is in the broad cupboard. Very good. Now student meet Priya and Ria. They came in the park to play. They planned to play hide and seek. So they saw two trees. One is broad, another one is narrow. Priya hid behind the broad tree. So she was not seen. But the narrow tree did not hide Ria sufficiently. Now student, it's your evaluation time. Tick for broad and cross for narrow. So student, in first example you have two color pencil. So you have to tick for broad and cross for narrow. Yes, very good. Now in second picture we have puppy house. So you have to tick for broad and cross for narrow house. Yes, very good. Now student, in third example you have fish bowl. So you have to tick for broad bowl and cross for narrow bowl. Yes, very good. Now student, in fourth example you have two arrows. So you have to tick for broad arrow and cross for narrow arrow. Yes, very good student. Circle the broad well. So student, here in front of you there are two well. So you have to circle the broad well. Yes, very good. Circle the narrow land. So student, here you have to circle the narrow land. Yes, very good. Circle the broad window. Yes, very good. Circle the narrow house. Yes, very good. Now student, activity time. Draw and color the broad glass. So student, here the narrow glass is given. So here you have to draw and color the broad glass. Color the broad object and circle the narrow object. Now it's your homework time. Compare the two objects marked N for narrow and B for broad. Color the bracket below the picture showing narrow chair. Second, color the bracket below the picture showing broad pool. Third, color bracket the below the picture showing broad bird house. Fourth, color bracket the below the picture showing broad waterfall. Now student, I have one cute poem for you. You have to recite this poem. I know, 
you have learned some lines of it. So, you have remembered it. So, you can repeat after it me. Big and small, big and small. Tell us the size, tell us the size. Long and short, long and short. Tell us the length, tell us the length. Tall and short, tall and short. Tell us the height, tell us the height. Broad and narrow, broad and narrow. Tell us the width, tell us the width. I hope you will learn this poem and you get to know what is this word used for. So student, I hope you understood my topic. Broad and narrow. Thank you.